And welcome back to Tip of the Week. We have yet another installment from Oshkosh, EAA 2018, where we're going to take a look at this thing called the One Week Wonder. And this is an opportunity for all of us to see how a popular kit aircraft is built in just one week by a handful of volunteers. Well, I guess it's a pretty good size handful, but it shows us that, that these kits can be put together relatively quickly and we can see it in front of our own eyes in almost time-lapse speed. Basically in the course of five days and we'll have a running clock that shows us the countdown to the end of the fifth day and we can see that we have completed the plane. This year it's a Vans RV-12IS very popular low wing kit plane and we have a completed version here so we can see what it's supposed to look like when it's all done. The intention of this whole one week wonder operation was to show perspective builders that today's aircraft kits can in fact be put together in a very reasonable amount of time and effort. Hello, I'm Harold Bickford. I'm a volunteer with EAA for the One Week Wonder 2018. We did this in 2014 with a little different aircraft, but this time we're using a Vans RV-12IS. The program is designed to get people acquainted with home building, perhaps create that spark that people really need to just get over the hump and get going and we're going to build this aircraft in the space of a week. As we look around, we can see that there's really a tremendous amount of activity. And as you saw in previous shots, there's a progress board up there showing time and tasks completed. And the real exciting part will be when people later on in the week have the opportunity to actually come in, place a rivet on the aircraft, sign their name, and the builder's log and become a part of aviation history. And I think we'll find that this is a real worthwhile program that really helps people understand that Building an airplane is not out of the question by any means, and in fact, it can be a really exciting and rewarding endeavor. The wings were one of the first sub-assemblies to be started. And even though the volunteers got the wings started, the public was invited to rivet the top skin of the wings. They were trained real quickly on how to use a rivet gun. Once they riveted the top skin, each person was allowed to sign with an indelible marker next to the rivet they place. So this supposedly will remain a permanent part of the wings, their signatures. By the second day, the fuselage was almost completed. And over here we have volunteers working on the tail cone which is coming along nicely. Eventually that will be joined up with the fuselage. And here we're looking at the horizontal tail components. In the foreground here is the cowl being prepared for installation. And you will notice that the Rotax 912 IS has been installed and hung on the firewall. This is the fuel injected electronic version of the Rotax. Only the top of the line for a Vans aircraft. And here's the avionics panel. This was pre-built and ready to install. It can be purchased in this form also. The plane was finished and then taxied in six and a half days right on time. 
Congratulations. All in all, the One Week Wonder was a wonderful opportunity for those who have never seen an aircraft kit go together like that and so quickly. Now at the other end of the spectrum, here's what one person and 17 years can get as far as building an experimental aircraft. I've always learned to look to where the crowds are gathering because something's going on in that area. And sure enough, to my surprise, a B-17 bomber, but this was much smaller. In fact, it is a one-third scale. This is an experimental aircraft. A person actually flies it. This was built by an individual called Jack Bali from Dixon, Illinois. This was completely scratch built. Every piece he made himself individually, as I understand, except for the landing gear, which by the way is retractable. A 34 foot wingspan and 1800 pounds. And that's the owner there closing the canopy. Four engines power it. Those are hearth engines. It was difficult choosing the correct engine because he wanted them to fit inside the cowling, which was all to scale without anything protruding. The reduction drive from the hearths have been removed, so those are direct drive. Jack was on hand to give a lot of uh, photo ops and explain a lot of his work to those who asked. He was pretty busy that day because everybody wanted to know how he did it. Now, of course, the easiest way to get all the information and photos from the builder's log is to go visit theballybomber.com on the web. All of the information is there. I highly recommend you look and appreciate what he built. This is the tougher way to create a home built. Enough of what others are doing. The rest of us, you know, back to building.